Hello everyone, this is King Kony Home Automation Training Lesson 3 and you can see Smart Fan Control Basics So in this video, I will show you how to change the speed of the motor just for ceiling fan and let's look at uh, this is a ceiling fan so we want to control this speed by application and next you can see because the motor is AC motor so we should control by this SSR driver and the last video, we have used this AC SSR driver to change the brightness of the lamp. But uh, this time, we can also use this SSR to change the speed of the motor. So let's look at the next. And you will see uh, this is a ceiling fan. And uh, this is a schematic uh, for a simplest way to use a switch panel and uh, use mobile phone and uh, control this fan speed. And you can see, this is King Kong Dimmer Controller uh, You can choose any one just according to your channel number You can see, the switch just connect with the digital input uh, For example, this have K1 and K2 And that connect with two different digital input uh, Later, we can set by FTDT how it works with the digital input and work with the analog output and this just have two switch channel and control one fan, one motor and the output you can see the red cable that is DC 0 to 10 volt output so this go into this AC driver just SSR to change the different voltage for the SSR so that the SSR will output the different voltage for the motor so this is for AC 220 volt or AC 110 volt. So this just for this power supply, and this driver the output voltage according to this input voltage. So this voltage to determine the output, the voltage for the motor for the fan. So that can change the speed. So it's it's very easy, and later I will show you the uh, practice. And next, we can look at uh, this. will have some different application work with the demo controller. Uh, this time, we will use DM16 demo controller. And this work with the local network by web service. And this work with King Kong Nicola server. And this work with Tuya mobile phone application. And this work with the home assistant uh, software. And next, you can also use a switch button uh, for change the brightness for brightness high and brightness low. And uh, the next, you can see the switch button. You can config by FDDT. This for home automation is set in locally. It work in locally without the internet, without the network. So this is the PowerPoint. I have showed the content of this video, and now I will show you how to practice it. I use the demo controller and the selling fan, and the switch button. Okay, let's begin. Okay, let's look at the testing device. Uh, you can see this is King Kony DM16 16 channel DMI controller that will have 16 channel output, analog output. And you can see this is our driver, AC driver. This is SSR. And this is the wall switch panel and connect with the digital input. And also, I use multimeter to test the load of the motor. You can see this one have go through this board uh, that have connect with the ceiling fan motor and you can see this is a ceiling fan and this is my computer we're running home assistant and running KCS and running King Kony card server to test and you can see this is a capacity and this ceiling fan only have two wire you can see uh, this two wire just this two wire have go through this board and just uh, this two wire this two wire so I have used the red and the black test uh, by the multimeter to test the voltage because I want to change the speed and uh, this DM16 that have connected with the Ethernet cable and that have connected the power supply I have connected with this DC12 power supply and also you can use 24 power supply and uh, this SSR that have connected with the AC AC 220 volt. You can see, I can connect with it, and uh, you can see uh, this voltage is zero because 
The DMR controller is not work now, and the output is yellow volt. And then let's look at uh, this is analog output one. You can see this have 16 channel analog output. This analog output one, that the red cable have go to this positive of the SSR. And uh, you can see this negative have connect with this SSR negative. So this is for zero to 10 volt uh, goes into this SSR. And the SSR output, you can see uh, this output that is for AC load and this power in, power in, this leave line go to this motor and the motor back to this this point, uh, this is go back to the neutral. So the motor and the SSR is serial connection relationship. And I just test the power of the motor. And this have a switch button, you can see this have 16 channel digital input that is K1, uh, this digital input one, I have connected with this, this K1, uh, you can see the blue is K1. And because I want to use two different switch panel and control one motor and one load together. So you can see the blue cable also have connected with this, this K1. This K1 also is the blue cable. Uh, they have connected together with the digital input. If you have the third or you have the first switch button, you just connect with the same point together, uh, K1 and K1 and K1 together. And the second you can see that you have connected the yellow cable. This is digital input 2. The digital input 2 I have connected with this K2 and this K2. So they have connected together. So I will set in my FTDT. So that will let the switch button is for speed high and speed low, and speed high and speed low. If you use King only touch, touch switch panel, also used by this way, because they also have K1, K2, K3. So this is for the switch, and let's test it. Now we'll, we can look at the KCS web, web page, and you can see uh, this is Kingoni KCS web page working local network. And this is Mont web page. And this is channel one uh, that is connected with our fan. So you can see I can change the percent, okay, 50%. That began work. And change 27. And change to 33 and you can see this is 33 okay and i change to 100 percent so the speed is max okay so i can change to zero so this is zero okay let's look at the next uh, this is kcs and let's look at the king county card server so you can see i can click at here because this King Kony Cloud Server uh, remote country by internet, you can see this is used by domain name, uh, so that you can go anywhere in every application. And also we can see this have some different channel, this is DAC1, and you can see I can change it, change it, change it, because it have a startup uh, voltage, uh, this is 49%, 49%, and this is voltage, you can see, uh, the SSR have a red LED indicate, and the voltage is 193 volt. And now I change the brightness, I change the speed, you can see, at here, uh, 67. And let's look at uh, the voltage is changed. So the motor voltage is changed and the speed is changed. Okay? And also we can change it to 100%. 100% and let's look at. And you can see the voltage is almost 210 to 209. Okay? So this can change the speed by the King Kony Cloud Server. And the next, let's look at this home assistant. 
home assistant and this is DM60 and you can see this is the first channel DAC and the click and you can also change this percent you can see uh, 58 58 percent and the watch uh, 208 volt so you can see I can change this for different different so the speed the speed will change and I can also click click this one turn off this is turn off so this will be off and also I can click this one to turn to max you can see I just click And also you can see this is Tuya mobile phone application. This can remote country by internet. Uh, you can see I can change the percent. Uh, this can update uh, uh, with the home assistant and I change it. You can see I change it. Okay. So this can work with the Tuya mobile phone, remote country by internet by mobile phone. And uh, this one uh, just by home assistant in local network. So I can close it. Of. Okay, so this is the selling fan country by this DM16 demo country now. And now let's look at uh, this wall switch. And you can see I click, click, and the voltage is changed. Uh, we can see it here. I can put my mobile phone at here and you can see click it changed and what it changed click it changed click it changed so you can see I can click click so this for up uh, change the brightness I change the uh, speed high and change the speed low Change the speed low. Change the speed low. Okay, you can see this almost is stopped. So also you can you can see I use the second switch. Click. Uh, can stop. Click. 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 And also slowly, slowly and slowly and slowly okay so this time we have used a different application uh, to control this ceiling fan and also you can use the menu country button and for this uh, switch panel and if you want to control the different motor if you want to control a very large current motor so you just need to replace uh, this SSR and this one you can see that is 10 ampere and you can also choose some different ampere, such as 40 ampere, 60 ampere, some big ampere. If the uh, SSR is big, because the current is big, you need to install this uh, heat sink. So you can see at the back, that can co connect with this heat sink. Okay. Uh, this is how to uh, use a dimmer controller to Smart country are uh, selling fan. Thanks for watching.